discuss the word that he shall be repaired. There is WDO for intervention. Ayun nyo ah. I-repair ng police after niya makuha said sa NSW para sa intervention program. Now, ito yun ito ha. If the child is 15 years old and below, or above 15, but below 18 years of age, acted without discernment. Patingin nyo ha. Ibig sabihin ito, pareho silang walang criminal responsibility. Below 15, 15 and below, wala. 16 months to 17, basta wala sa discernment sa NSWD o siya bibigay. Maliwanag, doon yung nire-refer yung kaso. Why? They are the one to give intervention program. Diversions under the law enforcers, law enforcement officers or the NSWD o. Meron din na the prosecutor or sa judge pwede rin silang sa kanila ibigay o i-refer. Now, para yung turnover custody, within 8 hours from the apprehension, Turn over the physical custody of the child to the NSWDO if all the measures to determine the age of the child has not been exhausted. Ito ha? Even if the initial investigation has not yet been terminated. Tapos man o hindi lahat ng investigation mo. Basta 8 hours na bago pa yun, ibigay ko na yun sa NSWDO. The NSWDO shall then explain to the child and the child's parents or guardian the consequences of the child's act with a view toward counseling and rehabilitation, diversion from the criminal justice system and reparation if appropriate now. Yes, wala nga siyang criminal responsibility, hindi siya makukulong. Pero, ipapaniwanan ng NSWDO doon sa parents siya sa bata kung ano yung program na pagdadaanan niya. Kung counseling ba ito, kung rehabilitation, diversion, or kung may kinakailangan silang bayaran, reparation, doon sa damage incurred sa kanyang juvenile delinquency. Can you follow? In the event a child whose custody is turned over by the law enforcement officer is 15 years old or below, the NSWDO shall take all measures to release the child to the parents or guardians or to any of the persons or organization and proceed with the development of appropriate program. Now, maseran pag ka 15 and below kasi total irresponsibility. Ang gagawin ng instability o hanggat maaari i-release ng agad niya sa magulang. Pag release niya, they will still work on the appropriate program. According sa kanilang investigation, assessment, Gagawa sa ng program para matulungan pa rin yung bata na maka-recover. Okay? Now, pending turnover custody. In cases, when the child is apprehended at night, night time during the weekends, syempre wala naman opisina niyan. Gabi, tapos weekend pa. Ensure that the child shall be temporarily secured in an area separate from that of the opposite sex and adult offenders and not put in detention cells or jail. Ay ba, nahuli mo sabi doon ng gabi? Gabi ay tapos, wala pang opisina. Ang gagawin ng polis, doon sa may station man yan, sa best, sa nakitong practice, lalagayan sa room ng women's desk. Kung hindi, sa room ni COP. Basta huwag mong iahalo sa, sa opposite sex. Pangalawa, huwag mong iahalo doon sa adult offenders. Bawal. Lalo na sa set sa lock-up chains, hindi hindi pwede naging bata dyan. Separate room. Sabi ko nga kanina, usually doon sa women's desk room or doon sa chief of police office. Maintain confidentiality and privacy. Ito, may mga board exam question galing dito sa rules na to. Use a system of coding. Yung mga bata, hindi yung pangalan na pinabangit nila. Code lang. Para pag code na yun, symbolize the child maturity. Maintain a separate logbook for CICN. Hindi pwede nakablatter ang bata. May sariling logbook para sa kanila. Maliwanag. Exclude the public, particularly the media, from the area where the child is being held in custody. 
Kasi pag nalaman namin siya yan, ma-broadcast yan, patayin na yung identity ng bata. No, pro- no not provide any details or information to public, particularly to the media, that shall lead to the identity of the child. Walang clue ang pwedeng ibigay na pwedeng mag-divulge kung sino yung bata na yun. Especially the name. Keep the result of the medical examination confidential. And mark the record of the child and the report on the initial investigation as confidential. Nakalagay yan sa documents na yun. Yung iba sa taas, nakalagay confidential. Yung iba naman naka-watermark as confidential. Para yung treatment nila sa document yung iba sa regular ng mga documents na umiikot sa kanila. We also have to inhibit and ask when it to the child. Pag nasa yung bata, ito yung mga pinagpabawal. Mark these things ha. Sometimes, the, the following are the prohibited acts except, gano'n yung mga tanong dyan. Detention, syempre. Search by officer of the opposite sex. Contact with adult offenders and offenders of opposite sex. Big no-no. Vulgar language. Display and use of instrument of force or restraint. Kapag ah, ito mo siya ang baril sa kanya, kapag ito ka ng poses sa kanya, bawal. Violence or unnecessary force. Takot-takotin mo siya, hindi pwede. Now, another question in board exam, intervention program. Lobo sa board yan. A series of activities designed to address the issue that caused the child to commit an offense. Sabi sa kanina, pag yan ay inimbestigahan na, hanapin nila ano ang nag-trigger, bakit siya nag-commit ng delinquency o ng crime, offense. At kung ano yung na-find out nila na mahina o naging dahilan, yun ang gagamutin nila. At ang process ng mga events na yun, o program treatment na yun, ang tawag dyan, intervention program. The Juvenile Justice and Welfare Code shall develop a 3 to 5 years national intervention program. The LGUs, local government units, cities, shall develop a three-year local government or local intervention program. Now, sino ang mag undergo ng intervention program? Pwede bang patutok mo ng blower, please? Meron mo naman ng blower lang. Pasuyo mo na yung blower. Thank you. Mamaya, kayo naman ulit. Ha? Ayun, blower, gumagana yan, no? Sira. Pastay na muna po. Now, child were exempted from criminal responsibility. Makinig. Yung binibigyan ng intervention program, yung mga bata lang na exempted sa criminal responsibility. Dahil hindi mo pwedeng ikulong. Hindi rin pwedeng pakawalang ng basta-basta. Kasi, pag pinakawala mong hindi nagamot ang bata, dahil wala siyang responsibility in the law, magiging residivist siya. Tapos sa takot ng gobyerno, baka maging adult criminal siya balang araw. So, ang may intervention program lang, yung mga tao lang na, o mga bata lang na, hindi pwede bigyan ng criminal responsibility. Sino sila? 15 years and below. 16 years and 17 years old, but acted without discernment. Sila ang binibigyan. Nakuha ninyo? Sino ba? Those who commit status offense. Sino yun? Yung mga gumawa ng mga actions, offenses na pag ginawa ng bata, hindi hindi criminal crimen sa adult. Sila yan. Not exempt from criminal or bagaman siya ay exempted sa criminal liability, hindi pa rin siya exempted sa civil liability. Ano yun? Mga damages. May kinakalang bayaran, palitan, bayan o oh, ibalik. Sino ang magbibigay nun, sir? Magbabayad nun? The parents. Okay. Born by the parents. How the procedure is done? Below 15, take into custody. Authority with initial contact to a child below 15 years old must immediately release him or her to parents. Barangay Council for Protection of Children or the NSWDO. Number two procedure, with, with notice to NSWDO, 
to determine the appropriate programs with child. Parent is D-A-N. Ano yun? Dysfunctional family, abandoned and neglected. Yan. Kinakalangan i-determine nila kung ano yung program na pwedeng itigay sa kanila. Once they found out na dysfunction, yung family niya, abandoned child siya, neglected siya, kinakailangan gawa ng program yan ng NSWDO. Kasi pag hindi, it will happen again, yung kanyang delinquency. Child does not comply with intervention program. Ano mangyayari? NSWDO files for involuntary commitment. Board question. Ano yun? Voluntary commitment tsaka involuntary commitment. What is the difference? Voluntary commitment. Ang natay, sinuko niya yung custody sa gobyerno. Kusa. Involuntary commitment. Kahit ayaw ng magulang, pwede mag-file sa korte ang NSWDO para sa involuntary. Sa pilitang kukunin yung anak mo kahit ayaw mo. Pwede ba na? Diversion. Ito ha. The keyword for diversion in the board exam is alternative. Dapat pagpunta siya doon, gagawin siya ng bagong programa. Dapat kulungan, gagawin siya ng intervention program. That is diver, diversion. Alternative child appropriate process of determining the responsibility and treatment of a CICN. Now, based on his or her social, cultural, economic, psychological, or educational background. Ang basihan ng NSWDO, actually team ng mga ito, merong educator, psychologist, may doctor, social worker, composed of team siya. Check nila yung mga points na binanggit ko kanina. According sa assessment nila, yun ang magiging basihan ng program nila or what we call ano yun? intervention program. Without resorting to formal court proceeding. Kaya nga tayo person, di ba? Dapat sa korte mo bibigay yan, pero gamutin na lang natin siya. Venues of diversion. The following can be the venues for diversion. Number one, barangay, police, prosecutor level. Pwede. Ang condition kung sa kanila mabibigay yung program if the offense has impossible penalty of not more than six years of imprisonment. Pag yung kaso niya, ang penalty basta below six years. Pwede kay barangay, pwede kay police, pwede kay prosecutor level ang kanyang diversion program. Pero, pagka impossible penalty ay more than 6 years of imprisonment, ang merong jurisdiction dyan sa kanyang program, ang korte na. Yan na. Katarungan pang barangay level. Now, pag nasa barangay yan, ang trabaho nila sa kanyang program, conducted by the Lupon, Tagapamayapa, chaired by the Punong Barangay, With the assistance of the members ng Barangay Council for the Protection of Children. Yung punong barangay sa conduct mediation, mga magitan, family conferencing, kaibahan, andyan ang pamilya ng kabilaan, pag-uusapan nila sama-sama. Conciliation, pag-aayos, adoption, adopt indigenous modes of conflict resolution. Pag-a-adopt sila ng mga yung mga common na ginagamit sa isang pamayanan na pamamaraan upang magkaroon ng resolusyon. Kagandahan niya ng barangay level kasi involve ang family o ang community para dyan. Barangay level, absence of the offended party or his or her disagreement, it is conduct, it sh it, its conduct shall not prevent the proceeding from being conducted. Halimbawa, kahit wala pa yung biktima sa pagdinig, hindi kaya pigilan ang paggagawa nila, pagdinig nila kung paano magkakaroon ng diversion program sa Barangay Level. With or without the victim, okay? The punong barangay shall, however, and be bored to obtain the participation and consent of the offended party in the formulation of the diversion program. Pero syempre, in respect, ang barangay captain, kinakailangan pa rin niyang hingin ang participation at yung kanyang uh, consent sa diversion program ng ng batang perpetrator natin. 
Objective niya sa Parkay level Restorative justice Okay Mamaya Didiinan ko Ang restorative justice kasi Lumalabas sa board exam yan Formulation of a diversion program Child and his or her family Shall be present in the conduct of this diversion proceedings Kasama dapat sila Because they also have responsibility Offended party may participate in diversion program proceedings Now This is the contract of diversion After the conferencing, pag-uusap nila formulation There must be contract Child voluntarily admits commission of the acts. Para mag-undergo siya ng diversion, dapat aminin niya yung ginawa ng bata. Okay? Number two, victim and offender must both agree to diversion. Dapat parehong agree si victim tsaka si offender. Diversion program must be in writing. Sabi ko sa inyo, there is no legal oral. O oral legal. Laging writing ang legal. Signed by the parties and the concerned authority. Pipirmahan ni offender, ni victim, tsaka ni punong barangay, punong council. Local, local social welfare officer implements supervised the diversion program. May involve na ngayon si LSWDO. I-make sure niya na yung kontrata, yung pinag-usapan ng conditions ay natutupad nung bata ng offender. Diversion proceedings to be completed in 45 days. Dapat mula pagdilig, after 45 days, magkakaroon na ng programa. On diversion program, child must be present himself or herself at least once a month for reporting and evaluation. Bawa requirement sa kanya, dapat once a month nag-report ka sa iyong LSWD officer ha, para makita ko you're doing well. Failure to comply with the terms and conditions of the diversion program as certified by the LSWDO. Victim has the option to institute appropriate legal action. Now, ba may contract yan? Agree sila, pinirmahan nila. Pag hindi tumupad yung bata sa kanilang diversion program, yung victim ha, magkakaroon ng karapatan na isa pa na ang legal action o gumawa ng legal action. The original case can be prospered. Formation ng diversion program, paano? Tandaan niyo ha, ang diversion program ay individualized treatment. Hindi pwedeng uniform sa lahat ng juvenile delinquency o delinquents. Bakit? May kanya-kanyang cause, may kanya-kanyang reason, may kanya-kanyang gravity ang juvenile delinquency. That's why specialized and individualized ang program nila. Consider the following factors. Ano yan? Child's feelings or remorse for the offense he or she committed. Meron ba siyang pagsisisi? Parents or legal guardian ability to guide and supervise the child. Pag ba nag-diversion ba siya sa labas, kaya ba nang magulang na i-guide siya o makakasama lang? Victims view about the pro pro propriety of the measures to be imposed. Ano ba yung panalaw ng, ng victim sa magiging program niya? And availability of community-based program for rehabilitation and reintegration of the child. Meron bang program ng community para doon siya mag-undergo treatment? Oo, si Demi na yan. Now, kinds of diversion program. Ano-ano ang pwedeng i-offer ng barangay na diversion program sa isang juvenile delinquent? Number one, restitution properties. Isa sa uli, i-restore, ibabalik, mabayaran yung property ng sira niya. Reparation of the damage cost. Yan, mabayaran yung mga sira. Indemnification for consequential damages. No? And then, written or oral apology. Magsusorry siya. Susulat o sa harapan, conference, hindi na tawad. Care, guidance, and supervision. Orders, counseling for the CICL and the child's family. Magkakaroon ng supervision and counseling para sa bata at sa kanyang pamilya. Guidance, care. Pwede siya mag-attend ng mga trainings, mga seminar, mga lectures. Saan yan? Anger management skill, problem solving, 
or conflict resolution skill, values formation, other skills in dealing with situation which can lead to repetition. Pwede mo siyang i-require dyan, wala siyang magagawa. Barangay 11, participation in the community-based program, including community service, paglilinisa, palsada, tree planting, mga ganun, mga barangay-brigata skwela, pwede yan. Participation in the education, vocation and life skill program. Pwede siyang i-enroll sa ALS, quantum school youth, sa mga TESDA, workshop, livelihood, etc. Now, level ng mga ngayon. How about the level ng police tsaka ng prosecutor? Ano ba ang diversion program nila? Yun. Yung mabinanggit kanina, kamukha nung sa barangay, pwede nilang gawin yan. Or, confiscation and forfeiture of the proceeds of instrument of crime. Halimbawa, out of sa paggawa niya ng krimen, nagkaroon siya ng kotse. Kumari, pwede ikuha niya ng police yan o ng prosecution. Mayroon siya mga cellphone na napunta, iPad, gadgets, etc. Pwede confiscate ng law enforcer o ng prosecutor. Okay? How about sa court level? Court level, pwede niyang kayahin yung ginagawa ng barangay. Nabanggit kanina. Pwede siyang maggawa ng written, yung judge or oral, reprimand. Reprimand, pagalitan. Sermonan. Citation or e-fine niya. Okay? Pabayaran niya. Payment of the cost of the proceeding. Yung pagtinig ng korte, pwede yung ipapayad sa kanya. Or, institutional care and custody. Pwede niyang padala sa isang boys town, sa isang youth rehabilitation center, mga ganun. Kaya ng court yan. At anyway, pag court kasi, six years, more than six years ang kanyang pera nila pa. Now, ano ba ang mga conditions ng diversions? na kinakalay ko na uh, i-take note kapag kagagawa ka ng program. Children's rights and legal safeguards in general must be, must always be fully respected. Tingnan mo ha, kasalanan niya pero ang rights pa rin niya ang fully safeguarded. Victim and offender must both agree to diversion. Pareho silang may gusto pumayag sa program. The case must be referred to a normal court system if no resolution acceptable to all parties can be reached. Halimbawa, hindi sila magkasundo, nakita ng korte, hindi nag-a-agree ang victim tsaka ang sila yung offender. Pwede siyang ibigay sa isang regular court. Tandaan niyo sa pagbata tsaka pagbabae o pamilya pinag-usapan, family court, dapat talaga yan. Maliwanag? Automatic siya merong exclusive jurisdiction sa mga ganyang kaso. Kaya na trick dyan. Potential risk. Risks are related to the child's right due to the process of process and fair trial. Child might be pressured into owning up to the offense and the expense of his or her right to remain silent. Benefits of diversion. Number one, the CICL is able to avoid the stigma in the evaluation with a criminal record. Pag nag-diversion ka, wala kang record. Walang stigma. You cannot be called child criminal. Pag tapos mo diversion program mo, as if you never committed a crime. Yan ang kagandaan niyan. Pagalawa, through diversion, a child may gain insight into the consequence of his or her action and take responsibility for them. Diversion, ma-realize ng bata ang kanyang ginawa. At makikita niya, ito pala ang bunga pag ginawa ko ulit ito. The child might learn from that. Three! Morning. Diversion program offers youth opportunity to develop important skills. Di ba part ng kanilang dahil? Diversion program, pwede magkaroon ng training, seminar, education, vocational, etc. So, through diversion, pwede develop natin yung bata. Nagkakaroon additional skill or knowledge, education. Families are equal are to strengthen relationship with the youth through improvement communication skill. Tandaan nyo ha, diversion program kasama ang family ng bata. Ibig sabihin, they will have 
a good opportunity para tumibay ang kanilang relationship. The court system reduced caseloads and increased efficiency and lower cost. Sa so, konti naman ang pakinabang nito, hindi natuntag yung kanilang caseload. Pangalawa, hindi nagagastos doon sa trial cost ang forte. Next is, communities benefits as young people understand their role in the community and develop positive attitude. Di ba ginaganap ang diverse sa community? So, ang community may develop lalo yan at yung mga bata, they will be aware ano ba ang pwede na maging role para makatulong sa kanilang community. And then we also have many non-formal justice options are cheaper than the court procedure. Imprisonment is very costly. Pagkain ng araw-araw, yung program lang sa, sa ulungan, di ba? Mas maganda na nakatipitin ng gobyerno. Now, prosecutor or the prosecution. Especially trained for inquest, preliminary investigation, prosecution, notify, power or clarificatory question and study. Determine if the CICR remain in custody and probable cause. File information with the uh, FCB point 45 days. How many court? Within 45 days for the start of preliminary investigation. Okay, trabaho ng prosecution niya. Now, what is happening in the preliminary investigation? Kawin naman ito kasi kahapon, di ba, sa prosecution, medyo dada na konti. Prosecutor investigate torture in treatment. Meron bang ginawa ang polis nung ginawakan niya ang bata? Anong group ng polis dyan? Medical certificate. Tama? Para siya ay magsuwerto. Bakit ginagawa ng polis yun? Baka ang bata, sakta niya sarili niya, kasi tulong sa polis. At least meron na siya uh, certificate dyan na pinasa niya doon sa SWTO. Preliminary investigation conducted if child does not qualify for diversion, child parents do not agree diversion, prosecutor determines diversion not appropriate considering assessment and recommendation of the social worker. Now, titignan ng prosecution niyan. Kung appropriate ba, or meron di agree, or hindi makakabuti sa kanya ang diversion program, ang prosecutor ang tumitikin niyan. Kung sa regular criminal case, prosecutor, ang trabaho niya, determine probable cause sa adat. Ito naman, determine kung makakabuti ang diversion program para sa bata. Yan ang trabaho naman ng prosecution. Now, in the court proceeding, ito na ang mangyayari. Apply privilege mitigating circumstances of minority to fix reduced pain. What is mitigation? To make it less serious. Uh, to lower it, parang gano'n. To reduce it. Gano'n ang ginagawa ng court proceeding. Para privilege, para mitigate, para reduce din yung pain, etc. If child detained, okay, ROR, bail, transfer, ROR, release on recognizance. Okay? To youth home, rehabilitation center, institutionalization last resort, for shortest period, no detention of child in jail, pending trial, okay? Yan. Pag child detained, pag naratikin ng child, hawak ng custody nila, pwede lang i-release yan, ipabay, or pag-transfer sa mga youth detention home. Huwag lang sa kulungan. Now, what if the CICL found guilty? Ito ang mangyayari. Determine civil liability. Check mo muna ang mga mga bayaran, ang regulohin. And then, instead of pronouncing judgment, ano mangyayari? Automatic suspension. Suspension lang yung lumalabas sa board exam. Alam nyo ha? Bago yan, bigyan ng promulgation ng judgment, suspended automatic ang kanyang uh, sentence. Okay? Full credit of time in detention, actual confinement, other disposition measures under Supreme Court rules on yeah, GICN. Discharge. Paano pala ngayon sa bata? Under custody. On recommendation of social work with the custody of the child. Halimbawa, sabi ng social worker na kung ginagamot niya ang bata, 
nagamot na siya, maayos na siya. Well, ready na siya para sa recommendation. Recommendation, pwede na i-discharge ang bata. The court dismissed the case. Order the final discharge of the CICF if objectives of disposition measures are fulfilled. So, iba ba lahat ng conditions na ayos? Pwede i-order ng court na i-discharge siya. And number three, discharge not affect civil liability enforcing a court of law. Iba ba, pinaraya siya, nirilis na siya, hindi affected siya ng civil liability. Dapat pa rin siya magpahayal. Pag-iwanag? Now, how about the confidentiality na record? Na mga po si lahat ng process, preliminary, hearing, assessment, sa court, lahat yan, it must be confidential. No? Non-disclosure of records to media, separate to his brother, coding to con conceal identity, non-use of records in other proceedings except beneficial to CICN with written consent, no liability of child to per jury, not disclosing being CICN. Now, ito ito mahalaga ito. Naglalaro ang board sa mga taong dito. Number one, walang record niya ang pwedeng release. Number two, coded ang pangalan ng CICN 